This is the Himaway Cobra Pro. It's a giant full suspension fat tire e-bike that Himaway sent me to review. Now we know what you're thinking, this is usually a drone channel. We're not checking out e-bikes or e-vehicles all that often, but we've done a couple DIY skateboards and stuff that went super, super well. So when they asked if they could send this out and we could promote it on the channel, I said yes, because I thought it would be a fun experience to go from something that was super DIY to something that's a little bit more out of the box and check out this awesome product. I've now had this for a couple months, had a chance to really break it in. Let's roll back to when we received the bike, unbox it, check it out for the first time, and take it on that first ride. Sorry that I don't have a more exciting background. I literally couldn't fit this anywhere else in my house. Here we are, let's uh, pop open the Himaway Cobra Pro. Can't believe they sent this to me, I'm so stoked. Let's get her open. Oh my gosh, those are huge tires. Look at those things, you know, here. This is like half. <laughs> Should say this is like 85 pounds, so it's not like just pulling it out of here is a great option. When you're looking at last mile electric vehicles, there are innumerable specs, performance figures, materials, voltages, blah, 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 blah. These all try to grab your attention and suck you in. But as someone that has exclusively DIY'd their previous PEVs, the attribute I was most interested in was the experience. Unlike the skateboards that I've built in the past, a big fat tire e-bike gives me confidence over cracks and curbs, smooth sailing off-road, and information on the heads-up display that tells me when I need to dial it back in order to make it home. The Himaway Cobra Pro has given me that experience which I was seeking. So I unboxed the bike and took it out for the first ride, but somehow managed to not record the camera to capture my experience when I was out for the first time. Well, I actually just did my actual, whoop, just did my actual first full ride. It's snowing and like zero degrees Celsius. Apparently I didn't record the camera, but this thing was insane. Just hold down the throttle. It gets up to 20 miles an hour really quick. I gotta figure out like what the right gearing ratio is for like acceleration versus endurance and stuff like that. This is a central hub drive, which means that instead of pushing directly on the wheel, it actually uses the gearing system to help itself. So if you're into high of a gear while you're trying to accelerate, using more power than you need to, I mean the same as you would be in the gears on your car. So I gotta figure out what the right ratio is for all that sort of stuff. Excited to play around with it more. Hopefully we'll get a warmer day than we've got right now soon and then we can get back out. Today's mission, we are doing a full range test on just the electric throttle. So this little thumb throttle here just gives you push to go. And that's the way that I envisioned using this bike mostly. Pedal assist doesn't really interest me that much because it's an electric bike. I wanna just go ride and have fun. So we're gonna do a full battery depletion test. Battery is charged, state, been plugged in. We're gonna plug this in right now and go for it and see what kind of range we can get on the bike. Unfortunately, it's the Midwest. It's 38 degrees degrees and quite cold. So, okay, trip is set to zero, 100% battery. Let's go for the ride. Oh, it's definitely raining a little bit. This is gonna be miserable. We're doing it for science. <laughs> that's all still on eco mode. It just like, it likes to go down the hill, that's for sure. So we are currently 3.2 miles in to our ride with 87% battery life. We're already showing a range of 24 miles remaining. I know that this thing cuts off at 25%. It really limits your power. We're looking for like a 27 mile full battery range, but those last 25% barely, barely goes anywhere. Otherwise, I'm having a lot of fun. It's pretty miserable out here. Like I'm, my face is already frozen, but uh, we're gonna keep rolling and, and see what we see, so. This is still in eco mode, and it climbs right up this hill, no problem. It doesn't look like a big hill on the GoPro, but uh, it's pretty reasonable. The top speed, which is 16 miles an hour, that's what I have it set at right now. So I'm trying a little bit lower top speed to see if we can get a little bit more range out of it. Okay, we are at today's turnaround point, 9.4 miles into the trip, and we have 13 miles of range remaining at 68% battery. So I think we're gonna make it home. We'll uh, just have to keep going and see what we see. Let's get on the road back. 
All right, let's grind some more miles out here. My favorite part about being on an e-bike instead of like an e-skateboard is that I can just kind of look around, chill, relax. It's a nice experience. I'm, I'm having fun even though it's kind of cold and miserable. Up next is the biggest hill of this ride. It's a pretty significant one. If I'm on my road bike, I gear almost all the way down to climb it. But uh, let's see how the bike does on this big hill. I'm just holding it down, letting her climb. 750 watts, pushing it right up the hill. And again, this is in eco mode, not even in sport, and it's still climbing it, and we could have geared down for that. So that's pretty freaking phenomenal, I would say. Once I hit about 50% battery life, it really started to drop off. That was right about the time I went up the hill. So I don't know if that's related, that it just kind of is like reacting to me having gone up a big hill. Okay, I'm just about to hit that 25% mode and the power is significantly limited already. So I'm just gonna hit full throttle. You can see it's only giving me about 500 watts total. I know it doesn't sound like it's much, but like it makes a big difference in the uh, acceleration of this big boy. And we're only at 19.4 miles. So finished our ride exactly 20 miles, 23% power limited to 400 watts, something like that. It's, uh, yep, that's, that's the end of it. In the end, the range I achieved is something that I was a little bit disappointed in. Don't get me wrong, 20 miles is incredible, but I just think I had my expectations set on more, set on something higher. Now, throw in a couple caveats, it was really cold and windy out. At the time of recording, I weighed 260 pounds and those things definitely had an impact, but I don't think better temps and slightly lighter riders will bring the range up into 30 or 40 miles. Other than that total range, I have loved the experience of owning the bike. The full suspension combined with big old tires make it incredibly comfortable to take on these long multi-hour rides. The thumb throttle and the pedal assist make it easy to achieve those distances and no matter what the road or lack thereof throws at me, the bike is able to overcome it. I've honestly been treating it more like an electric motorcycle that can go on bike paths and sidewalks more than I have actually used it as like an e-bike and it's been fun to use that as a last mile vehicle. That's where I've been having a lot of fun with this machine. My next step then was to take it down to Louisville to have Winston check it out too. So Winston's gonna take it for a ride and uh, give us his first impressions and it's in uh, its sportiest mode. <laughs> oh, yeah. My hair is gonna be so jacked up after this. <laughs> like you don't have to worry about curves whatsoever. You just well, so it is a full suspension bike. So you have uh, front fork, full suspension, and then it's got a mid for the back. And then you have the giant fat tires. I want it to be like a touch faster, but like it's still faster than it needs to be. I've been liking this the most for like cruising. It's been a blast to just like, you know, whatever sidewalk, whatever condition of the road, whatever, it just eats up all of that. So I've not been doing like off-road or mountain bikey sort of things, but being able to go on and off the road has been fun. For on off-road, like hybrid cruiser, not getting where you go is probably perfect. All in all, have had an unbelievably fun time with this. And I think my favorite thing going back through all of the footage and testing this out over the last couple of months has been the like adventurability. This thing can go anywhere, go over anything between the fat tires and the full suspension and the power that it makes. I don't think about where it's gonna go. I just go do it. That's what's been fun about it. It's not necessarily that it has the best performance. It's that I can take it anywhere, go anywhere and just treat it like a little mini motorcycle. And that's what's been so fun is to just let it be a replacement for a vehicle. Beyond that, some of the specs that make this thing great, the power, the top speed, right? I'm hitting 26, 27 miles an hour when the battery is full. When I got this bike from Himaway, I asked them to give me two batteries rather than just one. And that's made the whole experience of having this thing way more fun. The battery itself has a plug, so I can plug the battery in directly while it's not on the charger, put the other battery that is full and keep riding it and then swap those out whenever I want to. So in the last few months of using this bike, those are the things that I've liked the most. Now let's talk about some of the downsides. The first downside, and there's not really a good way around it, this thing is so heavy. Now, I know that I got a big bike, so I shouldn't be complaining about how heavy it is, but it is something to note, something to pay attention to. It is a beast. A consequence of this being so heavy and the geometry being the way it is, I cannot mount it on my standard car racks. You have to get a specialized car mount for these giant tires for this super heavy weight. Himaway does sell one on their website. I believe that fits the Cobra Pro, but it's something that I didn't know about when 
when I first purchased it. And the final downside, the one that I haven't bumped into really because I have two batteries is that the charge time is very long. It's like six or seven hours to fully charge one of those batteries. So it's not like you're gonna go out for a ride in the morning, plug it in and then go out for a ride in the evening. You have to wait six, seven hours to get a full charge. So I've loved having the two batteries to solve that problem, but I do wish there was like a fast charger or a way to charge this in a little bit quicker of a time because the three amp charger takes a very long time to charge this 20 amp hour battery. And the final really big downside about this bike is that the kickstand being kind of at the back of the geometry isn't necessarily in the center of the weight. So it's actually pretty easy to tip this over. I've had a blow over in the wind a couple times. Teddy grabbed it and tipped it over. Like that's just a consequence of the kickstand maybe not supporting the weight of the bike as well as it could. Everything else about this I love, right? This giant full suspension, the pedals, the power that it makes, the length of the battery, while not as long as I wanted it to be, is super, super fun. It's just been absolutely amazing to have this kind of in the arsenal of things that I can do to entertain my two-year-old to get us from day to day to day to day. One final note is that Himaway wanted me to let you know that if you comment on this video with any accessory under $150 that you would like to own from their website, they're gonna be doing a random giveaway through the comments. Tons of options out there for you to choose from and they're gonna be super stoked to hook you up with something like that. And as always, there is an affiliate link in the description below if you choose to purchase something from their website. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Himaway Cobra Pro. It's been really fun making it because it's something that's very different from what I get to normally make. Let me know if you wanna see more stuff like this. I'm always really happy to, to kind of branch out a little bit, try something a little bit different. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and stay flying.